Welcome to Geology Simply Explained. The purpose of this video series is to provide very simple explanations of very complicated geological processes that form mineral deposits. In this one, we're going to discuss volcanic massive sulfide deposits, otherwise known as VMS deposits. VMS deposits occur as the result of underwater volcanic eruptions. These eruptions occur along a rift or spreading center that is created by extension faulting of the rocks that make up the sea floor. Extension faulting is caused by magmatic vortices in Earth's liquid outer core that put an enormous amount of stress on the rock that make up the Earth's crust, causing it to separate. Let's zoom in closer to the Earth's crust located below the sea where this extension faulting is taking place. Magma from Earth's interior exploits the extension faults and oozes out onto the sea floor. Occasionally, a sudden influx of magma into chambers below the surface cause massive eruption cycles to develop along this fault. It's these eruptions that create volcanic massive sulfide deposits. This type of deposition occurred in ancient seas since the dawn of time billions of years ago and continue to form to this day. As these violent eruptions occur, the ejected material of ash and rock settle to the bottom creating what is known as a volcanic pile. This pile can extend tens of kilometers from the volcanic center. The coarser material is located closest to the volcano, while the finer material drifts further away. The pile grows less thick as it extends further from the eruption center. These eruptions create negative pressure, causing seawater to be drawn through the surrounding muds and underlying rocks as it makes its way toward the base of the volcano. Along the way, this water dissolves minerals within these muds, rocks, and magma, becoming a mineral-rich hydrothermal fluid. The dissolved metals include copper, gold, lead, zinc, silver, and other elements such as sulfur. These mineral-rich fluids are heated as they are drawn near the magma deep below the volcano. As they rise upward, they encounter the volcanic pile, getting trapped in cracks and voids within it. Some of the more energetic fluids escape the pile and form vents known as black smokers while other fluid is ejected from the volcano. As the hydrothermal fluids cool and encounter changes in chemistry within the volcanic pile and in the seawater, they begin to drop out the dissolved metals. Copper and gold are the first, then lead, zinc, and silver as the fluids continue to cool. This creates zonation of the metals. Copper and gold deposits are located deeper in the pile or closer to the vent, while the other metals are deposited higher up in the pile and further from the vent. These deposits form over tens to hundreds of thousands of years. Once the eruptions cease and we return to a much less violent period of magma oozing from the extension faults onto the seafloor, sediments have time to accumulate and bury the volcanic pile. After some time, we may have another period of violent volcanic eruption caused by another sudden influx of magma. This creates a new volcanic pile above the previous one and the process repeats until the extension faulting ceases in that area. As a result, VMS deposits can occur laterally along the length of the extension faulting and also vertically as subsequent eruptions occur on top of the sedimentary sequence. Uplifting, due to continental collision, eventually move the rock containing these deposits upward, exposing it to the forces of erosion. Once eroded, it will be transported back to the ocean in the form of the sediments that will eventually be scavenged to repeat the cycle once again. An example of a prolific area for VMS deposition is the Flin Flon VMS belt located in eastern Saskatchewan. These deposits provided the metals for the Hudson Bay Mining and Smelting Company that operated for almost a century in that area. The search goes on for other VMS deposits. We hope you enjoyed this video and that it helps you to understand the processes that form volcanic massive sulfide deposits. Thanks for watching.